everyone, it's Tammy, and I am going to make a tag today, and I'm going to use some of these things that I have um, from Hero Arts. I thought that they were really pretty, and then I also have this tag that is part of the Julie Nutting collection. It's just, <clears throat> there's like a book of tags, and I thought that I would use this as my base. I really like the color, and I thought it would be perfect for a Valentine tag. And I'm also going to use this cute Snoopy stamp that I also think is perfect for Valentine's Day or any day, but um, it's just really cute. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I think I may use one of these stamps or I don't know yet. I haven't quite decided. And um, I know that some of you, I don't know, I've had comments both ways. Some people get frustrated if I have something all planned out and I do it too quickly and other people have a problem if I am and some people say that they love my thinking process and like to hear me as I'm going about it and just trying to wing it and make something others of you say that I don't seem to be very prepared so I don't know you can't win sometimes so I'm just going to this is a more of a wing it card I do several of the other kind too where I have most the majority of my cards are the ones that I already have an idea planned and prepped and ready to go but occasionally I like to do it this way because I don't really have a plan but I want to craft and I just bring you guys along so if this isn't the kind of video you like then watch something else because I'm sure there's something out there for you but I also wanted to use this cute tissue that I got from Target it's just a facial tissue in this pack and I used to do things like this more often and I haven't for a long time but I think that this is two ply and I'm going to try to tear the plies apart if I can and maybe it's not two ply but I think that it is yes it is okay so I can still use that as a tissue or whatever, just be one ply. And then I also have this that I got from Target on the dollar spot as well. And I may use one of these now that I'm thinking about it. I think that's one. Okay, I am going to open my window just a little bit because this spray stuff is very toxic, or I don't know the word for it, but it's very potent. So I wanna make sure that I don't spray too much of this. And I'm gonna spray it toward the window. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray all of this, and then I'm going to take this and just put it over like this. So I'll be back to do that part. I'm just going to first spray this. Did I just drop my, oh no, I dropped my pedometer. It's part in my hair. <laughs> Craziness. Ugh. Okay. So let me spray this. Woo wee. Like I said, it is very potent. And I didn't do the best job of straightening that out as I was trying to push it along. I have glue on my hands. Yuck. This isn't my favorite product. I do like it because it works, but it's not my favorite product. because it is very, like I said, very potent. And I didn't do a great job sticking it down, but that's okay. I think I can make it work. 
you know what, I may spray and I should spray it by the window, but So then let's cut this off here. Oh, you know what? It's three ply. There's still a ply on here. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm just going to hope that it sticks well. Holy cow, I never would have guessed those were three-ply tissues. And where it's kind of funny looking, I think, is where I'll put this. Ugh. That's the problem with some of these using this strong of tape on some of these things is that it will rip them but I think that I can make it so it doesn't really show and I'm gonna put this kind of sideways a little cockeyed and then I will take some of my favorite glue and I'll go around the edges this is the art glitter glue And a little bit goes a long way, which is really cool for these. Before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and put this hole in here. For the tag. Oh, I didn't fold this down. here to cover up what is kind of um, already sticky from the tacky spray. Come out, come out wherever you are. Hi Tasman. Hello. Hi, beautiful boy. How are you? You taking a nap first? Is that what you've been doing? Huh, love? 
Aw, you know mommy loves your sweet boy. Yes, I do. I love that Tasman. Tasman do. Good boy. We're going to take a walk in a little while. Goodness, this is not usually this difficult, but it has, I, in its defense, it's been a while since I've used it. Come on, stuff. This is my favorite stuff, and I hate to brag about it, and then it'd be all crummy. Okay, that side. But it really has been a while since I've used it, so... It is really great stuff. I really don't know what its problem is, though, because it doesn't seem to be clogged. When I stick my pen in, it is totally acting like it's clogged. Gonna get this clog out one way or another. Okay, let me make sure it's not in this part. And this is the part it seems to be in. So maybe I need to run this under some cold water or some hot water or something. Oh, there, now it's coming. Okay, I think that we did it. I want it more like this. Yes, this is working fabulously now. And then I'm going to cut this part off of this one just because that's the back side and I'm just putting this on here just so that it's not sticky
let's go ahead and finish doing some decorating. I think I'm going to just stamp this onto some white paper. And I'm gonna make it two and a half inches. By, I think, let's do three inches and see how that looks. Let's go ahead and stamp this first. Just going to use a basic black ink pad from Stampin' Up. This is archival ink, so you should be able to color over it with no problem. And I'm going to clean this off with my Stampin' Scrub and my Stampin' Mist. So someone had asked me if I could do some Valentine cards using Snoopy. So, um, I, and she even said a tag, I'm sure. So um, that's why I'm doing this. I appreciate the request. And I hope that I do it justice for you because it's fun and I love my Snoopy stamps and I don't really use them enough. So yeah, this is great, great opportunity. So now I'm going to go ahead and color this and let's see, I think I'm gonna color it with some of my alcohol markers. Gosh, I kind of have them pushed far back. Can't reach them more very well. And let's see. It's a little bit dark. That's more like it. I wonder if there's a happy medium one. Oh, but I like that one better than this one. And maybe if I went this way. Nope. Maybe this way. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to color Woodstock first. And I'm using the lightest color. And then I'm going to go over that with the darkest color on the edges. And then I'm going to take the medium color. I'm going to try to blend that a little bit. very cute and I'm gonna give Snoopy a red collar I'm just gonna use a red pen just because I know that it's fine tip and now I think I'm gonna use some what color should I make the bench I think I'm gonna make the bench a blue color just because of this so let me put these back 33, 35, and 37. So then let me pull out some of my blues that I think would work. Goodness gracious, I really do have this pushed way far back. It's kind of 
of a purpley blue and I kind of like that because of the heart. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to color this kind of the same way where I start with the lightest color. trying to make sure I get just the bench and not part of Snoopy. I think that did it. And then I will use, this one is the darkest one. I'm gonna go in these little sides for sure. And then I will go in just a little bit on some of these. And I noticed that I forgot this part. There we go. And then now I'm going to go in with this one and try to bring the colors together, I hope. I'm going to take the lightest color and go over them again because I didn't really want it to be this dark, but I'm afraid that with these markers, that's what I'm going to end up with. So I'm just going to try to lighten some areas up. That looks kind of cute. I think that's all right. And so let me put these away. And then I think I'll give them pink. <laughs> My finger is sticky from that tacky spray and I actually pulled out one of my pins. That might be a little bright, but it might be fun. Let's go ahead and give them some pink ice cream. And their little cone. This is a colorless blender. I'm going to pull out some of this blue, I think, if I can, that I accidentally colored on the Snoop Dogg. And then I think I'm going to take another pink. This one is a pale pink, it says. 
much. And that's not too much paler, is it? Um, pretty sure I like this. Well, it's about the same color, though. Might not be quite as fluorescent, though. Let's see how that looks when it dries. That's called Cosmo. And I'm not even going to color Snoopy because what's the point? Hmm. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to fussy cut him. that. And then I'm not really sure how this one works. It looks like it's a two stamper. So we're just going to go for it and see how it looks. I'm going to use my Misty for this. And I want it to be like that. Actually, let me put this in the corner so I know that where it's positioned in the corner. Let's make sure that still fits and it does not. There. And I'm going to do this in a lighter color. And I think I will use... Hmm. I want to use Rich Razzleberry. Oh, that doesn't really go. I don't know why I'm excited about that color. It doesn't really match what I'm doing here. Um, maybe I'll just do like pink and red. This one is Blushing Bride. need to re-ink this one maybe. 
goodness. Oh, that's better. Okay. Clean that off. With a baby wipe and then I'm gonna put that away. Then I'm gonna get out the other one. And I'm just going to put that right on top of here. And then I'm just going to get out Red Rose. Oh, very cool. I like that. Yay. Clean that off. And then this out and I'm going to cut it down to size and I'm cutting it a little bit cockeyed I don't know if I like it like that or if I want to cut it straight too but I'm thinking I kind of like it like that just because, I don't know, I don't like it when things are perfectly straight all the time. And then it can go just like that. I kind of like this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get it all put together. I'm going to... Actually, I think I want to layer this with another color. Color would I layer this with? Oh yeah, pink is pretty. So let's see, how big is this? This is three and a half by mm, about three. Let me cut it this way. Go three that way. And I think I'll just put it on here and then I'll just cut to it to give it a nice layer. This one, and then we'll cut this one, and 
And I'm going to save that bigger piece. that here. I'm going to put him here. So I'm going to pop dot him with some dimensionals. just using a lot because I don't have very many left on the sheet and I figure I may as well use them and not have any extra because I don't want to have a sheet with just one on it so I'll just use them all and it'll be well popped <laughs> That's cute. And then I have this cute ribbon that I thought I would use along with this tool that I got from, I think, Michael's. I'm just going to cut off some of it. I don't know, about a foot maybe. And what I'll do is I'll bunch this up and stick it through. Like that. Then I'll take this. it around here for that glitter everywhere thanks to that tool And I think maybe I'll try to tie it in a little bow. And there we go, there is our Valentine tag, all finished and cute. And I hope you guys like that. Here's the back, it just has this on it so that it won't be sticky up here, but um, 
I think it turned out super cute. I like it. I don't know what in the world I'm going to do with these. What do you guys do with your tags? Um, but yeah, I like it. So thanks for suggesting that I do that and challenging me. And thanks for watching, everyone. And I will talk with you guys soon. Bye-bye.